off Jersey, qualifying for grand finals on winner's side. But now Noodle is going to need an opponent. Diamond versus Camex is going to be the matchup in loser's semifinals. Top four secured for all three of these individuals. For, uh, oh, really, I should say, you know, yeah, you know what? Three, because Icy's are two. But yeah, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see now the Sonic Ice Climbers matchup. And uh, you want to talk about Volatile. This could go a very particular direction, and it's really going to come down to, I feel, Snacks, the uh, watchful eye of Diamond, and just how accurate and efficient Diamond can be with the weapons. Let's see how he does. I feel Kamex has a chance, but as you said, Icy just could, could control the whole match. And look how they stop Sonic by just a little bit of ice on that side B. But let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. It's just a start. Let's go right back. By the way, best of three. We're in the loser semifinals. We're waiting on whoever wins here going to against level six. That we saw the plant and we saw the little match. It could be trouble as well. Exactly, a dual threat in uh, winning and losing finals. But yeah, we're talking about uh, Camex as Sonic doing pretty well and utilizing the tools of Sonic to their full effect in order to get to this point in the tournament. But Diamond, gotta say, is uh, doing pretty well with the uh, with the Ices as well. Certainly no pushover either way. Of course, Diamond has victories on individuals like Hayes. We wound up winning the uh, the last fusion before this very Arcadian. But we're seeing that a little bit of that quality now that put him over people like uh, like Hayes and Zamu. And even got a win on East. Uh, wound up uh, being brilliant as well. You know, this is a uh, th yeah, this is someone who's very well practiced and is uh, showing it right now, but Camax not doing too badly either. Brought up two sides. 30% quite, I mean, we're back on the even side, right? Two stock for both characters, but Diamond fully is really putting some percentage on Kamek's side. Those ICs are controlling the rhythm on how Kamek could approach them. I mean, yeah, because if you look at that, if he cannot go with the side he just cannot be overly aggressive. He needs to eliminate Nada, though, to just have one best factor on this match, and ah, yeah, that was too close for comfort from Kamek's side. Yeah, Kamek said uh, Sonic from, I can only assume it's from New York because I'm seeing Encore Smash, I'm seeing Xeno Saga, I'm seeing Waypoint Warrior, so I'm just going to assume this is a New York Sonic. But uh, yeah, this is, again, someone who has some halfway decent, uh, some halfway decent uh, victories on their record but is uh, maybe just a little bit you know, inconsistent in terms of finding these victories, in terms of uh, really maybe uh, executing. Just because this is not <laughs> this is not the sort of character that you want to be aggressive with, though you certainly can. But man, when you are going into the hammers of ice climbers, it feels like an uphill battle. But the, the sad part on that second stock is that Kamex went to lose his own stock, his own way, because he jumped on that up tilt. So that was just good for Diamond just to get that up in. And right now, even percent, I mean, even stocks, 42% already on Kamex, and that is accumulating thanks to that blizzard. So yeah, those blizzards are just <laughs> fixing up on Kamex, not having any way to respond on Diamond. Yeah, now that we're seeing the, uh, the Blizzard start to come out, anything to try to slow down the roll of Kamex sitting there on the platform, waiting, trying to measure up some sort of offensive uh, maneuver, but again, Diamond positioning just a little too good and is not really able to get uh, anything really resembling a uh, a full offensive measure just kind of tagging up Nana and uh, a lot of hitting on shield a lot of trying to move things around and uh, really disrupt the rhythm but yeah no two hammers are better than one and Kamex going to feel the full force of both of them yeah wow I, I cannot believe for what I'm about to say but this is a very annoying match for uh, for Sonic Wow, it's incredible how tough uh, is facing those blizzards. The only thing that's affecting this whole matchup is the blizzard part. 
Uh, Diamond is doing very good work on controlling that spacing, that little spacing against comics. I, I applaud that a lot. We've been seeing it throughout this entire night that uh, Diamond is willing to, uh, and certainly able to break up uh, people's rhythms. I mean, you're going to get that with the, when you have someone who's got really good with D6. But it feels like such a particular skill set in Smash Brothers that you, this isn't the sort of character that you can just kind of have in your pocket. You know, this is someone that you need to dedicate time to, especially in a game like Smash Brothers. You know, especially in a game like Smash Brothers Ultimate, I should say, because yeah, when you see the uh, when you see the stuff that Ice Climbers is capable of, you're wondering how this character can even lose. But yeah, the dual blizzards coming out into the up smash not quite enough to get the ko on battlefield but you have to think at some point well this iceberg is going to crack and uh, it could very well fall down with its full weight pressing it. wow that that backer from diamond is going to be taking comics uh third stock two more to be eliminated from the tournament remember we're back on best of three after this match we're gonna go back to best of five. 86%, that down smash gonna be sending Diamond once more outside, yep. That down smash did help him a lot, and I think the, pre the, the, the pressure of being on that ledge just affected Diamond and how to recover. But pretty good percentage right now on Diamond. Samix needs to be a bit more cautious on how we approach Diamond. Yeah, and there are some people who are uh, particularly good with the Sopo. I actually, uh, I'm not even going to say the obvious one, but mm -hmm. there is a, a Wi-Fi Ice Climbers that I recall uh, that I recall casting for maybe one or two years back by the name of Utam, who wound up mm -hmm. being a pretty decent Sopo, all things considered. Like, you saw that Nana go perhaps a little quicker than you would expect, but... All of a sudden, you see the Sopo just kind of throwing out the disjoint and really <laughs> wreaking havoc. And you're seeing now, obviously, Diamond utilizing the full resources of Ice Climbers to the best of their ability, but is uh, one stock away now from a berth in Losers Finals and a guaranteed third place finish. Oh my god, Ices. Ices are just so fun to see, man. I love the desyncs, how they just work out, and Diamond is just motivating me on using the character and being bad at it because it's never gonna happen for now oh, <laughs> diamond is not gonna be approaching and nana although she is alive we're gonna lose that stock entirely 67 percent we're gonna be stopping that side b and for now comics needs to do a miracle hopefully to get this win i do appreciate the candor when you said just be bad at ice climbers uh, does, uh, honestly it takes a it takes a brave man to uh to be so honest with uh well let's face it the entire smash world watching so yeah. we're going to get uh yet again tournament stock potentially for camex and is looking for answers time I seems know. to be running out and nana is only speeding up the second hand on the clock does it perhaps strike midnight on this Sonic? Ah, that down tilt. I thought we were going to see the down tilt to finish it off, but still 150 is looking bad for comics. Needs to be a lot cautious than anything, but usually everything trades against ICs. And uh, there we go. That's going to be the end of it. That's going to be the end for comics run in this fusion arcade number six. And we have a secured third or second place from diamond or level six so we are going to losers finals people it's just nutty to think about what we've seen from diamond this is uh again a very well practiced ice climb is going to get that stretch in you got to appreciate that the uh but yeah Mark. we're skiing now as you do right but no, the uh, the ability to approach on stage and challenge the hammers, you have to at the very least respect the inclination to do so, right? You can't just let the uh, you can't just let the ICs run rampant and you know swing the hammers all willy nilly because then they will start frustrating you. They will limit your movement options. But there's a very fine line between I would say, you know, establishment of your own space and kind of disrespecting. Them. And I feel like you go, you try to reach your hand in the cookie jar one too many times, you will be punished for it. 
game, and I kind of yeah. get that feeling. Like that's what the Bill came do for Kamex. Let's be real, a very aggressive Sonic player with a very positive attitude towards the game. But yeah, when you get in yourself into that many opportunities where to get hit, you will eventually. Yeah, with Sonic, you gotta be a bit more patient with a lot of interactions, because I think the fun part of playing